Pisces, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for May 2018. And Pisces, this month, I feel like your brain's just going to be going like this. It's just going to be electric up in your head, which is a really wonderful energy to stimulate new thoughts, new ideas, new social contacts. Take advantage of contacts that maybe you've already had in your world and you hadn't really been leaning into them. It's just you've got a lot of words and ideas available to you this month. So I really look forward to seeing how you take advantage of them and especially with Uranus moving into Taurus. This lights up your third house. So your thinking and thinking patterns are about to shift and you're gonna get a taste of that between May and November. You'll get a little break to go, whoa, wait a minute. It's almost like you get this high flying new set of ideas and new mental patterns and then you step back a little bit and into an old pattern and you're like, wait, that doesn't work. I don't, I don't think that, I don't believe that anymore. And then when we get to March, you get to really watch this be solidified. So it's very exciting, I think, for you. As well, as we get to the end of the month, we've got a full moon that's happening in your career sector that I think is absolutely delicious for you because in some way, shape, or form, I mean, Pisces, you've really been doing a lot of work in career and speaking up and kind of owning your own space in the career world. You've really been working on that, especially for the last year and a half, two years, really. So I think that this full moon is, gives you an opportunity to let something around this career business go. And what it could be is um, some old ideas that you had. Right, like your mental pattern is getting so incredibly stimulated that I think you could be. Get, I think you could be letting go of something. The other thing that I'm thinking about at this full moon for you, because Mercury is also coming into Gemini at the same time, is that this could actually be a full moon where finally all this work you've been doing, people are starting to acknowledge it, right? Like someone in a position of authority, you could be getting a raise, you could be getting a promotion. Somebody could just be recognizing that you are starting to bring something different to the table. But whatever it is, it could definitely look like some recognition in some way, shape, or form too. So I think that that's very, very exciting. So let's get in here and talk about these dates, okay? So right at the beginning of the month here on the third, we've got Mercury moving out of its shadow zone. And this is important, I think, because with Mercury not held up in any phase of the retrograde um, energy, we have Mercury's full attention. He's full blast, facing forward, giving us this genuine blessing that we've got of communication, thoughts, decision making, um, studying, anything having to do with the mind, we've got full clarity and full blessing. And this is important because we got a lot of changes coming up. So we're going to want to have our mental faculties about us to the best of our ability, right? Now on the 12th, Mars is going to enter into his shadow time before he gets ready for his retrograde in June. This is also important to understand because even though Mars is still direct here, we've got his attention, we've got his energy, we've got his blessings and the actions, he is starting to slow down. So where this becomes important for us is when Mars slows down, who's our planet of action, we have to be more purposeful with the actions that we are taking, with the words that we are speaking, with the um, confrontation we are getting in and it also gives us an opportunity with Mars slowing down to reevaluate the desires that we have right do you genuinely have a desire for this do you really want to be doing this or where is your desire so just kind of keep that in mind okay on the 13th we've got Mercury moving into Taurus lighting up this third house space for you on the 15th we've got a new moon happening here in Taurus again in that third house and at the same time we've got Uranus ingress into Taurus so again here in the third house so I'm telling you first of all Uranus is a very electric energy right it's very stimulating he does this he comes he breaks down the structures we've had in whatever placement so for you in the third house and he says hey these structures these ideals, these are, that's not working anymore. We need something else. So he gets electric. He's going to stimulate your brain. He's going to stimulate your thought process, your words, your communication, um, your decision making. You do need to be mindful about not making any quick decisions, right? Because you're in this, can just, you get so excited. You're so hyped. Pisces, you're like, heck yeah, let's do it. And then you're signed into like a thousand year loan. So pay attention to that. But on the other side of that, this is a great energy. If you need to sign contracts, you need to sign that new lease. You've got documents you need to add your signature to this combination also having mercury out of that shadow time i think makes it a great time if you've got to sign something and uh make it official this is a wonderful energy for that okay 
Now, what's going to happen here with all of these energies as well is you're going to want to liberate your thinking. That's what this third house is about. You want to liberate your thinking, whether that be you're like, I don't feel like I fit here and I need to study something in order to come to the next level, or I don't want to be trapped by what's in my head and my limited beliefs anymore. For some of you, it will be too. I realize that I cannot... Um, I cannot exist without writing. I cannot exist without um, launching this website. Like I can't make any progress without taking some kind of brand new step to communicate differently. So whatever it is, I actually feel like Uranus and Taurus is helping things be in your favor, especially because it's coming at the time of a new moon where we plant these seeds of intention. What do you got to talk about, Pisces? What do you have to say? What are you thinking about? What decisions are you trying to make? What book are you trying to write to get out here to us? What class do you want to study? You want to come study astrology? Well, come on, let's do it, right? So whatever it is, I actually think that this is great for you. Now, on the other side of this thought, Uranus and Taurus and all of this third house energy could lead you to taking some kind of short distance trip, especially to someplace different or foreign from you. Because remember, Uranus likes different. He likes not just traditional. So you could find yourself going on a day trip that you didn't even plan to. Maybe somebody says, oh gosh, you know, I really need a ride to the airport. Do you think you could take me? And you're like, Ah, I just kind of walk by you in the cafeteria sometime, but sure. All right, let's do it, you know? I mean, short of somebody being like, hey, um, do you want to go on a date with me and ride in my trunk? I think you're good to take some new experiences and adventures this month, okay? Speaking of new experiences and adventures this month, on the 19th, we've got Venus moving into Cancer, into your fifth house. Hey, this is the true love, romance, creativity, self-expression, investment, fun, joy. This is the joy house. And Venus is comfortable in Cancer. So you're getting nothing but good juju with this energy here. Now, if you are dating somebody, you and your person could find that, that you get a little bit more nurturing. You're, there's maybe a little bit more... Um, sensuality, vulnerability, diplomacy, harmony here, things like that. If you're single and you want to meet someone, what I'm actually thinking about is that we have got um, energies moving into your fourth house at the end of the month, so you could be getting set up at a family event or maybe a friend of a friend of a friend sets you up or something like that. So get out there, go be social, go have fun right? Don't set out to meet someone if you're single. Set out to go have fun and watch how that vibe attracts things. Also a wonderful energy if you're doing anything for loving on those children or making babies. So good job there. <laughs> when we get to the 29th of the month, we've got the full moon happening down here in Sag. We've got Mercury and the sun both in Gemini now, and this energy is lighting up that fourth house. So 10th house, 4th house, I really think somewhere in here you're getting some kind of recognition and or shedding some piece of the work situation that actually gives way to the home zone, gives way to your foundational level beliefs, right? Have you been working at a job forever, Pisces? You're really out there trying to be the hustler and you're like, I don't even like selling insurance. I want to sell China dolls. You know what I mean? Like, if that's the kind of change that's coming up, fine. Or you know, Pisces, it's probably been a year for you or at least a few months where you're learning to interact very assertively with coworkers. Is this a time where your mind's changing and you see that being assertive is not scary anymore or taking a different action or setting a different boundary is not so scary anymore? Whatever it is, this full moon's going to say you have to end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something, and it's all for the better to get you going in the path of progress. All right, Pisces, I think it's going to be an interesting month and few months in terms of this Uranian energy. So I look forward to seeing how this plays out for you. So please, please, please keep me posted, okay? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays this month. So click in the description box down below and let's get signed up. I'll see you guys next month. Bye.